As of uh, this is Laserboard and welcome to today's video guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the Voss legendary items that you're able to get. We're also going to be talking about how you're able to get the RPG, how you're able to get the vehicle, how you're able to get the pistol, and how you get able to get the complete Voss legendary set. So if all this sounds like something you guys are definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's go ahead and talk about the Voss legendary gear. So as you guys may know, part of the new brand new DLC is the ability to be able to get all this armor set for Voss, which is including his hair, his mohawk, including his shirt, his pants, his boots, and also the most iconic thing, his gloves. And of course, his mohawk is pretty iconic as well. All right, so to unlock the Vass Insanity gear set for Voss or for your character so you can use it on the main game, the first thing you're going to notice is, guys, whenever you launch the Insanity, it's going to tell you guys the rewards you get for completing each objective. So let's go over each individual thing and tell you guys exactly how you're able to obtain it if you don't have the DLC. I'm also going to tell you guys the fastest way to actually get each one completed. So let's start off, guys, with the Voss Mohawk, which is going to be Escape Voss's Mind with at least 25,000 points. This is the most difficult one, and I'll come back to that one because that's the most difficult one, so we'll leave that for last. We have the Vaz Tank, which is pretty easy. All we got to do is escape the mine. That's basically very simple. Just complete the DLC and you're done and you get the, uh, you know, the, the, the shirt. It's going to improve your health regeneration. Really good. Then we also got the pants, which is going to improve your maximum stamina. So that means you're going to be able to get recharged really quickly. There's another easy one, which you could kind of tie with this one because this one's only very easy. You just need to hold 8,000 cash at all at once and you will be able to unlock that. So these are pretty easy. Then we have this one, which is going to be pretty easy as well, which is discover every location in the Voss Mine. I'll show you guys the map so you guys can see where each location is at. That way you guys don't have to go searching for it. You know exactly where each location is located to be able to unlock this one, as you see here on the map. Not that many locations. Everything is very compound and put together. So it's a matter of discovering every single one of them. You don't have to complete them. You just have to discover them. Next up, guys, we have the uh, pretty much the unlock all weapons in Voss's armor. Once again, let me pull up the map and show you guys the location of each individual weapon. Super easy to do. Just going to make sure you guys go to all the locations that have the little lock. I'll highlight them here on the map so you guys know exactly where it is that you need to go. And last but not least, we have Collect Every Voss Shibby. This is going to be for your vehicle decoration. I made a vehicle on all the 10 Shibbies that are located within the map. I'll link it down below in the description so you guys can definitely check out that video and find out where all 10 of them are located all right guys so now on to the most difficult one which is the mohawk now the particular the mohawk the reason why it's hard is because you have to get 25 points when you exit so what i would recommend is changing the mind level and selecting the mind level the higher mind level you go the more you get from killing enemies from opening chests i would personally recommend doing it in three and four it will allow you to complete it really fast if you follow this strategy if you could do five then that's the way to go but three and four would probably be the sweet spot. One and two takes a little bit long. If you're going to be there for like about two hour session, then I would do one or two. Uh, but it does take longer when you do higher light, uh, mind level. So what exactly do you need to do? Let's go select mind level five because we're already there. That's what we've been playing. I feel like to give a review or to give some opinion about this DLC, you have to play it in mind level five or else, you know, you're not really enjoying or getting the whole complete experience when you're playing at a lower level. But with that being said, what exactly is it that you need to do? Well, in order for that, we need to pull up the map here. So I'm going to give you the numbers from mine level 5. Uh, it might be a little bit different when uh, I think it's maybe 200 points or less. Uh, but let's pull up the map here. So let's start off with these. So as you guys see here, we got these challenges, right? So these particular challenges right here, there's a total of three of them. Now, if you complete all of these three challenges, guys, you're going to be rewarded 400 points. Okay, that's 400 points. Now... If you guys saw my video on how to make more money, then that 400 points will turn into 800 points, okay? So if you think about it, if you do three of these guys, that's going to be a really good amount of points. That's 24,000 points um, just on completing them. In addition to that, after completing each of them, you're going to be given a chance to sell the item that drops from that. Now, theoretically, you could sell it for 2,000 points. So right off the bat, guys, you get 6,000. If you add those up, that's going to be almost 9,000 points that you're able to get here if you sell it. Now, if you are following my guide on the cash video, then you theoretically will be able to net yourself 12,000 points by just completing that. So over there in general, you already have half of the battle won just by doing these three missions, okay? Now, on top of that, remember, you got to do these, right? So if you, if you do these, 
that's 320, 320, that's another 1,000 points. So you're already in a really good ballpark. Then from there, guys, what I would recommend, since you're within this area, complete this one right here, complete this one right here, and complete this one right here, and this one. If you complete all those three, all, all those four, I should say, of the weapon ones, you guys are ready to go. You guys are already at 24,000 because you're going to be killing ads, you're going to be killing enemies on your way over there. And then it's just a matter of completing these. So it's super, super easy. Theoretically, you could get away with just completing these three and then completing these three. And then you should have 24 points when you exit and complete it. But I just would like you to be on the safe side and complete it that way. I think that's a more effective way of actually doing it as opposed to doing it any way. And that's how you complete that pretty easy. Just remember, apply the information I showed you in the cash video on how to make more money to this and you guys are going to be able to smooth sail out of this really easily. I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description and now let's talk about the rest of the stuff that you need to get. So there you guys have it. Those are all the rewards you're able to get as far as cosmetics are concerned. In addition to that guys, you're going to be able to get yourselves a vehicle and I'm going to show you guys exactly what this vehicle looks like. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be taking a look guys is the Vosmobile, which is this one right here. This one you're able to unlock by completing the first playthrough. You can play it on mine level 1. And we're going to be calling that in so you guys can take a look exactly what that looks like. So as you guys see right here, we have a nice, beautiful design. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go into photo mode and give it a uh, better better, better perspective just because we're in a different time here. So let's go ahead and change the time settings here. And make it just a little bit brighter so you guys can see exactly what that looks like. So as you guys notice right here, really, really nice bike. It looks really, really dope. It has that red, black, and white feel to it. And it goes really awesome, as you guys see right here. And it's made, it's a Funkai. That's a brand that actually makes this one. And this is the Vossmobile, which is a reference to Voss. And you're able to collect that from him. Now, in addition to that, guys, we also get a brand new weapon. This one right here, which is a pistol. Now, this pistol, guys, cosmetically, it looks amazing. It looks awesome. It looks dope. I don't even know how to say it, but let's go to photo mode so you guys can take a little better idea of the aesthetics of this and kind of figure out exactly what this looks like and then we'll go into the weapon details so once again let's change the time of day to give it a little bit more brightness here and you will notice that this gun is really really dope because it has like red things coming out of it which makes it really cool and when you shoot this gun you guys are going to see it right now it looks really really awesome let's take a look at the mods that the weapon comes with so you guys can get a better idea here's a better look at the weapon as well so you guys can see how it looks. It looks really, really awesome. It's one of, one of the best looking guns right now currently in the game. And not only that, but it's one of the most unique ones because it has this mod called Rack 'em Up. And basically what this is is magnetic bullets that curve and can be shot through walls and hit multiple targets at the same time. It is really awesome. I'll show you guys a little bit of gameplay once we get towards the end of the video because I have one more weapon to show you guys that a lot of people don't even know it exists. So basically, guys, if you go to the store right here, and if you go to the store, you go to Ubisoft Connect, and you scroll down, you're going to notice that we have the Voss RPG-7. No one's actually talking about this, guys, but we do have this one. We could preview it. It looks really, really dope, and it comes with two mods called Nimble Shooter, and we also have another mod that improves your draw holster speed. So really awesome. I will showcase this one as well so you guys can see exactly what this looks like and get yourselves this rocket launcher that no one, for some reason, is talking about. Plus, you also get a nice little charm, and basically, all you got to do is pick it up, do your Ubisoft Connect, and get it now, which is 60 currency, and you will be able to obtain this really easily. Just go ahead and purchase it, and it will appear in your inventory once you get it. So, we go here, and we go to our rocket slot. You're going to notice that it's right down here, and let's go ahead and equip that, and now we have the rocket launcher, which I want to show you guys exactly what that looks like. So you can see how dope it looks, right? It looks really, really dope. Aesthetically, it looks awesome. Let's go into photo mode again so we can see a uh, better perspective of it when it's a different time. I hate when... It, I wish I could just let you play in a certain time just because I feel like during certain times the things look a lot cleaner. And as you can see right here, it's a little bit too yellow, but right there. There you go. So that gives you a nice, perfect look at the Voss rocket launcher. It looks amazing, guys. If you ask me, that looks really dope. So that's the Voss rocket launcher. And that is the complete Voss armor set with the rocket launcher. Looks amazing. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys won't regret getting all this cool loot. So let's take this for a spin and let's see what exactly these guns do and what the rocket launcher does. Aqua packing plant. Thinking about checking it out. You should. They got a computer inside. Try to download some intel off it, but be careful. 
Lots of soldiers hanging around. Copy that. Aquí. Aquí, please. Oh, yeah. 